I don't like labels. That's what my ex-girlfriend told me in a poor attempt to let me down easy. I tried my hardest to reason with her and convince her otherwise, but it was to no avail. While the same can be said of me, I dislike a different kind of label, the social type. Social labels define someone to a certain extent, and the stigma that is formed to, is a very difficult one to overcome. These stereotypes are the core problem of all social privilege, including racial, gender, gender identity, sexuality, and religious advantages. Simply put, if there were no labels, there'd be no privilege. Of course, there are some types of privilege that labels are not responsible for. Economic, educational, and able-bodied privilege, for example, are benefits that are determined mostly by the circumstance one is born into. That being said, stereotypes play a vital role in that. For example, economic privilege is largely based on what one class is born into. The United States has always prided itself on the American Dream motto, and that there is an opportunity for upward mobility. History is also key in regards to privilege. Every kind of social privilege is linked to some, for, uh, some form of maltreatment of a group in the past. Racial, blacks were enslaved. Gender, women were denied suffrage. Gender identity, transgenders are not allowed in some, uh, some public places. Sexuality, it was and is still illegal to be homosexual. Religion, millions of Jews were persecuted. Everyone likes to think we currently live in such an advanced, in post, whatever kind of prejudice, society. But the truth is, we don't. It is more evident than ever in the language some people use every day. The reason I wouldn't want to give up all my privileges on the end list is simply all the freedom and privilege I have from it. I can get married in whatever U.S. state I want. I can hold hands and kiss in public with my significant other, and no one will look at me any differently. Family is supposed to be the people you can always rely on and accept you for who you are, yet some families don't accept members simply because of who they love. To be discriminated against to the point where someone even remotely thinks about ending their life is unacceptable. I don't know how the government continues to make the decisions they make, or the Catholic Church continues to preach the things they preach, nor the ramifications it can uphold.